Welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna go over some broke ass witch tips for that witch on a budget. Holla holla. Because we've all been there. I'm still, I'm still there. there. When we both started, when we were trying to find tools for our altar and other things, we thought it was a great idea to go to the thrift store and garage sales just to kind of see if we could find some interesting, cool things that we liked, that we connected with to build our altar. Keep in mind that when you do garage sales or thrifting or anything like that, it's all what's there at the time. It takes multiple trips to go to these places and find it. Honestly, that's where I find all my favorite things, Same. all the most unique things on my altar. So you just kind of have to keep going and don't get discouraged if you go one time and you're like, man, I didn't get anything. It's okay, go the next week, there'll be new things there and you'll find something. If anything, you usually find at least one small thing. I can't tell you all the jars that I have bought. Yeah. Well, and two, like I remember first going and just buying anything and everything, but now throughout time, I'm kind of like, I don't need it. I have too many of these. I don't need another candle holder. I don't need another bowl, even though they're pretty. So just- Keep that in mind. Keep, yeah, I if mean, we're on a budget, let's- if you're holding it and you're not quite sure, that means don't buy it. That means it. no. Because I have bought way too many things. All right, so we're at the thrift store. We're gonna be looking for things you can put on your altar or any kind of tools that you need in witchcraft. Really, it just depends on what's here today. So let's go take a look. Let's check it out. <laughs> So what happens? So now we're on to the second store. Pretty. How yeah, freaking cute. My heart's sold on it. You should get it. I might. I like some of my Beautiful. They're just so cute. You know. The cookie jar. Oh my yeah. god. Perfect. But anyways, thrift stores have great suspicious boxes. They're very big and they're very cheap or small. But literally, I mean, I keep like charcoal discs as well as like loose incense and resins and stuff like that to burn. So it's just a nice, cute little aesthetic place for me to keep things. And this one just has all my extra witchy stuff that I don't know where to put. But it's aesthetic as AF. AF. So another great find at the thrift store is always candle holders. I mean, we saw so many cute glassware. Danielle found these amazing metal ones at the thrift store for like a couple bucks. I, and you normally yeah. get them in sets for like four bucks. Uh, I got a set of these brass ones. I think I have like five yeah. and they're all different sizes. So they look really like cool. I think it's really important that you notice Joe and I have very different aesthetics. Very different. We go to the thrift store together and we find everything we need. Like they have old metals looking things and or like cutesy little glassware like stuff. Real classy. Depending on your style, I, it can be harder or easier to find stuff, but like they do have every kind of style. <laughs> Gotta look for it. Keep your eye out. And so, another great yeah. thing that they have at the thrift store is oh, the candles. candles. I don't think I buy candles from anywhere else. Literally though, if you go to the store and you look at like long taper candles like this, they're so expensive. Go to the thrift store, they have so many different colors and shapes and sizes. Black ones are always a little bit harder, but always check the Halloween section. Yeah. Always. That's where they usually are. I've had it where there's been like a cat picture on one side and I'm like, just turn it around. It's and fine. fine. Other great finds at the thrift store are always containers. Oh my like, God. I found this super cool, it's a Pyrex, it's glass. I keep my moon water in it. I just thought it was super cute. I buy all of my bottles from thrift stores or Michaels, but it's, it's it's just the top again, remember? Just the top, nope, that's the top. <laughs> <laughs> this Got is deceiving, one. like it's I feel like you should one. pull. I know, it's the Pulling tiny. from this, it doesn't work. Yeah. I know you gotta do the rim, do a little a rim job, job, but. This is the second video we brought up rim jobs, I'm pretty sure. I had this really cute one yesterday when we went to the so store. So cute. I like the pearly and like top I on know, it. Oh, it's a little vintage. 
I will say I have so many, so many really cute and like unique little containers that are all from the thrift store. Oh, I found this the other day. I plan on putting like tall pieces of lavender in it because I think it'll just look cute. And I get like containers like these a lot. Uh, I put air plants in them and sometimes literally anything. I know this one is hold air plants. It's also hold all my, my matches at some point. Yes. Also, I make candles with these kind of containers all the time. Unique. No one else is gonna have a candle that looks like this. Yes. Chalices, offering bowls, all those things. I mean, again, our aesthetics are very different. <laughs> very. I get glassware stuff where Dan is metal. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you for that. <laughs> like, look how pretty. Originally, I bought this to be an offering bowl, but um, I end up just putting my crystals in it because place where they fit. Honestly, it, it looks like it should It's so pretty. It was made for that. It's so pretty. So, mm. yeah. Yeah, I use this one right now on my altar as my chalice. I think uh, this one I bought, I made a candle out of it. But I think I'm going to burn the candle and use this because it literally looks like it's from like a 16th century right? castle or something. It's like really cool and I got a set of two of them. And the set of two was what? Like three, four bucks? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, like sometimes the really cool stuff is like a little four more. to six dollars, but, but everything else then, is like a dollar to two dollars. Yeah, you can't beat it. Not and again, these. I, I mean, mean, you're not going to be able to spend two dollars and get something like this. Yeah, I do have several different kind of bowls that I use. Um, this one is very much not my aesthetic of my whole altar because it's glass and nothing I own is glass. I mean, it kind of is your aesthetic, like that woodsy yeah, it's elf because it's got the plants it's and flowers plants and stuff. That's true. It does. It has flowers on it and I do like it. Even like some of the paints coming off the bottom, but like it just it's looks still really cooler cool. that way. Yeah. And then I have um, a wood bowl. If you want a wood bowl, there's always wood always. bowls. Always. Always. And you get like a set of 10. You don't need 10, but you can get a set. And they're great. I use it year round. Everything I do is woodsy. <laughs> I got this really cool holder. I like it because it goes like this and they like the wood catches itself and then you put your thing on there and it just holds it. I can't really do it without a, a on table. the floor <laughs> but it works. What I really like about it is that they're ladies. Ladies. Anyone can be a witch. True. Not saying True. anything like that. It makes me think of like all those like but even pictures just like, of them running in the forest or yeah, the fire or something. Or, and and like, just to yes. represent the goddess. I mean that's like, true. Yeah. The three the, oh, oh, the three triple moon goddess. It really does look like the triple moon goddess because there's three of them and they're working unity to. What a, what a great take find! My stuff. You probably um, well, we just figured this out too. That's yeah, amazing. you know things like this happen. It's really inside. I do put like. Ooh, yeah, it's yeah, that it's stuff like the we potpourri. bought. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it, yes. there's usually potpourri in here. Side note, you want good incense? I cannot promise how your Renaissance Festival does it, but I buy all my incense from the Renaissance Festival. It's always cheap. It's always better than anything I buy from the store. What do you get? Twenty for like a dollar? Oh my gosh, there was it's like something. It's ridiculous. a lot. And then they had potpourri the, like two years ago, and I had a bag, and I still have I still it because it. it still smells. Yeah. And it's great. It's like really woodsy looking, and sometimes I'll like throw whatever I want else on it. Yeah. But like side note on that, be ready to drop Check some money it out. Not even that much but like on incense it's you can go crazy so i was lucky enough to find some of my like goddess um statues for my altar i love deer so i found this cute little doe it's so cute it's adorable i love that it's got like a little bit of the blue on yeah it like now. the patina is coming off yeah or whatever that's called but got this one and then i love mermaids as well and i found this super cool i don't know if it's brass but it's you know, just sits on my little shelf that I have representing the goddess. So I'm lucky I found these. For, again, a couple bucks, and they're so cool. They're... I got my god statue from um, a garage sale years before I got into witchcraft. I was actually with my dad, and it was kind of funny because I saw him, and he was this cutest little gargoyle, and I was like, I need this. Like, I don't know why, but I need it. He was 50 cents, so he bought it for me, and I remember being in the car and putting it in the little cup holder while we were driving, and he was like, this thing better not be cursed, and I was like, no, it's not. I can feel it. Like, this is for me. I need this. Aww. And so, you know, he was in the house and around. We put him out for, like, Halloween or something here and there. Ended up in a box of mine. And then once we got into witchcraft and paganism and everything, I was going through boxes and I found him and I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. I want him to be the God on my altar. Yeah. And it's just, it's adorable and it's cute because like long before I even got into it, like I knew somewhere down Deep the line, down. he was important and he is 
One of my favorite things. That's awesome. I sometimes carry him around with me, I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> I'll put him in places, like, he's not always on my altar. I'll bring him around and, like, sometimes if I'm having a bad day, I've done it with him and I've done it with this bloodstone uh, frog I have. I'll Aww. put him in my bag and I'll just bring him with me because I'm like, they're going to watch out for me. Yeah, that's so, awesome. Yeah, I wish I had him, but he's super cute. Yeah, <laughs> but again, garage sales are awesome because I know I got my, like, first altar table that I used for it for 25 bucks at a garage sale. Yeah, the like, cheapest you'll find is a garage sale. Now, they are a And you can kind of bargain like, with the people, too. Yeah, garage sales cheaper than thrift stores. But you can still find some pretty good stuff at the thrift store. Yeah, and they're not like, you know, they're clean at the thrift store where Whoa. you are buying it from someone who could just be in their garage. I have a horror story of that. I bought a fake plant from someone in a garage sale. They said it was in their house and they yeah. just didn't want it anymore. And I was like, oh, cool, yeah. It definitely was not in their house. They left that in like their garage or something because I brought it home. I was like, it was a little dusty. I'll come on, go outside and we'll rinse it off before I bring it to the house. There were so many spiders ah, no. and other creepy crawlies in no. that thing. Yep. No. I, I no. saw one come out and I was like, okay, I'll take the plant out of it because it was in like this big long container. Oh, like, I holder. think I remember you bringing mm -hmm. that. And then I was like, oh, well, I'll just take the plant out real quick and I'll wash yeah. it because I'm sure it's just a spider or whatever. Higher yes. foam on the inside was just filled. It was so bad so do be careful when you buy things from garage sales and thrift Inspect stores it. you know just yeah if you're questionable like what's this milky substance on this don't buy it don't buy it don't buy it it's unless unless it. you're like oh my god i have to have this and then just wear some gloves and but it off. yeah i've only had one real bad experience with buying something from a garage sale and that was it and it was bad <laughs> i was yeah. so grossed yeah. out i left it outside i threw it out i also got my bell from the thrift store a dollar got these cute little pepper and salt shakers and I put black salt in one and white salt in the other and I just think they're really cute and they're little mushrooms and then shing <laughs> this is my a theme I literally just call it a knife though I never use the fancy words it's fine um I got this and it's like vintage and it's so cute so not that you need this for any witchcraft, but I thought it was super cool. It's a little mini oil lamp. It has the wick in it. I thought it would be cool to put it on my altar. Again, just finding things that suit your aesthetic. You wanna decorate it and make it look cute. And it'll take time. There is stuff you can buy straight up that will help you start off with your altar. Yeah. Like you get your chalice, a candle, you get bowl and stuff like that. But like you don't have to go all out. No, it takes time. This isn't gonna be you go to the thrift store and you buy everything in one go. If you do, good for you that's, that's amazing. amazing yeah you had but, a good day i mean this i mean this is over years that we've collected this stuff from the thrift store so yeah just keep that in mind it's not going to be an instant thing and there's other like stores you can go to the dollar store and buy some like easy quick cheap stuff. candles again uh, look online there's always some cheap stuff um ebay has stuff at times you know etsy i mean you can get like herbs and stuff in bulk for i get all my herbs off of etsy i have i know a lot of people go to stores and get them in bulk yeah. i have not found a store around that i'm not nervous to ask someone to see if they have like, anything hey. in bulk but i'm sure there's like farmers markets and stuff oh, that you can get yeah. it super cheap so next up this is my all-time favorite thrift store find i could not believe when i found yeah. it because Ooh. Ooh, it is this box look how freaking cute it has stars moon sun on it and guess what? My tarot cards fit perfectly in it. Like, too, it's snug. But like, that's what you want them to be. You don't want them like, I can get them shaking all. around. Like, I cannot. It is too cute, it's too perfect. Again, maybe three, four bucks. You can't beat it, you yeah. can't beat it. This was such a lucky find, I can't even Dude, believe it. Dude, I remember when we found it. But especially like, when we went thrifting last, which was yesterday. Yeah, it was. We went to two different stores. So we, we went to one, we didn't find anything. And I did kind of do like a little manifesting like intention of being like the next door we're gonna find something. Find something. And we did. We both bought a couple things. So Yeah, it's true. Go in with good intentions that you'll find something good. It's fun to look around with friends, like yeah. bring a friend. If I you mean we're just being goofy and Oh my god, you can't tell you all the there things. There were we some wedding dresses really... there that we were like, mm, should I buy them? Mm -hmm. This is for me. Sasha. Happy thrifting. Be sure to tag us in some of your thrifting finds because I wanna get jealous of everything that you've bought. Yes. Yeah, I'm I like I'm curious of like what other states have because I feel like in yeah. Michigan it's always like old lady candy dishes and stuff. It is, but maybe it's like that everywhere. But maybe it's not. I mean, I'm sure always the old lady. Oh, candy and like dishes. all the cute little teacups and stuff. Oh God, please show me all the. Teacups. Oh my God, there's so you can find some really pretty ones. I'm like this was someone's grandma's china because it yeah. is like 
beautiful. Tag us in this stuff. Yeah. Like and subscribe to this video. Follow us on Instagram. If you like this video, let us know and we can kind of keep doing this. We'll do like in-depth more like vlog style next time we go to the thrift store. If this is something you want to see, let us know. Yeah. Anything specific you want to see in the Broke Witch series, also let us know. Yeah. Because we can help you with plants. We can help you with candles and yeah. extra things. Or if you're like, oh, I love doing this ritual, but I don't know how to do this affordably, let us know. We yeah. can maybe help you out. For sure. Some things are expensive and I can't help you. But other things, we'll, you we'll know I found a workaround. Switch on a budget. Broke ass witch. Broke ass witch. I'm a broke ass witch. Broke ass witch. Broke ass witch. Broke ass witch. Uh, uh, broke ass witch.